Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a standalone executable file using your Python scripts. So let's say I have a project and it contains uh, some Python scripts or a Python script. And let's say I want to convert this uh, test.py into an executable file. So on Windows, it will be .exe file or on uh, Linux, it will be a binary file, which I can execute uh, by double clicking. So for that, for converting your Python scripts into an executable file, we can uh, use a utility called PyInstaller. So you can see uh, there is a website called pyinstaller.org and you can find more about this pyinstaller utility on this website. And pyinstaller is a Python application which creates standalone executable file under Windows, Linux or your Mac's operating system. So for using pyinstaller, you need to have pip installed on your operating system so what is pip first of all if you don't know what is pip you can uh, just go to this website pi pi.org pypi.org and pip is a package management system which is used for the management of the python applications so for using pi installer you need pip and how you can uh, install pip on your operating system you just need to install python on your operating system pip will be automatically installed with the installation of python so you don't need any extra strap to install this pip uh, on your operating system so if the python is installed the latest version then pip is going to work i have already created a video about how to install python on your uh, windows operating system let's say so i will uh, just put the link in the description so you can see that video and move ahead so once you have installed python you can just uh, open the command prompt and once the command prompt is open you can check if pip is installed or not using this command uh, just give pip hyphen hyphen version and if this command gives any uh, useful reply for example in my case it says pip and the version of pip which is installed on my system and which python version it's using so this is the python version it's using and this is the pip version which is installed on my system so once this command works then what i can do is i can go to the pi installer website and you can see it's a simple uh, command to install the pi installer so you just need to give this command pip install pi installer in order to install pi installer so let's uh, copy and paste this command pip install pi installer and then uh, press enter and it will take a uh, few seconds uh, to install pi installer utility using pip so once this installation command is finished successfully you can see it's uh, finished uh, successfully on my uh, terminal what i will do is i will just uh, go to pi installer website and see how to use it so it's the it's a very simple uh, usage of this pi installer command you just need to uh, give the pi installer command and after that the name of your python script so let's uh, do that so what i'm going to do is I'm going to go to this folder where my Python script is there. So I'm going to just restart my command prompt. And once the command prompt is open, I'm going to just uh, copy the path of uh, this Python script. And then I'm going to just say CD and the path and then press enter. Let me just uh, make it a little bit bigger. And let me uh, just uh, move this uh, folder explorer. So in order to convert this test.py script into the executable file, you just need to give this command pi installer space the name of your uh, Python script, which is test.py in my case, and then press enter. And uh, it's going to take some time and you can see some folders and files are created by pi installer inside the project folder for you. So once this pi installer command is finished, 
you will see uh, in addition to your Python script, there are a few folders which are created. So the interesting folder for you will be this folder, which is the DIST or dist folder. So I'm going to go inside this dist folder and then I'm going to go inside the test folder. So this name will be uh, the same as your Python script name. So I'm going to go inside this folder and here you will be able to find an exe file with the same name as your python script so because my python script name was test.py that's why the executable file name is test.exe file so let me just uh, double click this file and you can see when i double click this executable file it will give me the same output as my python script is going to give me so this is how you can convert your uh, Python script into a executable file. So let me also show you the output of the Python script. So let me just clear this uh, console here and then uh, I'm going to just say Python and then test.py and you can see the executable file gives me the same output as this uh, command is giving me. Now you might observe one uh, minor issue here and this issue is you can see there are a lot of uh, dependency files uh, which are created by PyInstaller for the, just running this test.exe file. So what if I just need to create this test.exe without all these dependencies. So let's go back to my uh, project. So this was the project and I'm going to delete all these uh, generated files and folders which were created by PyInstaller. And once again, I'm going to give the same command which is PyInstaller test.py but I'm going to add one extra flag here which is hyphen hyphen one file flag. So what this uh, flag will do is it's going to just create one exe file without the dependency files. So let me just give this command and let's see what happens when I uh, give this PyInstaller command with one file flag. So now you can see all these folders are recreated. But when I go to the dist folder here, you can see this time only test.exe file is created without uh, any extra dependency, right? So all the dependencies will be uh, bundled with this exe file and only one file will be created and this is much better than uh, creating all the dependencies and uh, just uh, transferring all the dependencies to your client or anyone. So let me just double click this also and uh, you will see it's going to give you the same result. So if you want to create only one exe file without any dependencies, you just need to give this flag which is hyphen hyphen one file and you will just get only the exe file. Once again, let me uh, just give the cls command to clear the terminal. Now I have uh, one more uh, example for you. So let me uh, show you the second example and let me go inside this uh, folder which is tkint uh, project and let me uh, just run this uh, project. So I'm going to just uh, go back one folder and then I'm going to cd into the kint uh, underscore uh, project and let me just run this uh, python script real quick. And this is the output of uh, this uh, Python script. So this is a window which I want to open. And I want to convert this uh, Python script into an executable file. So this uh, Python script uses uh, Kinter for uh, creating this window. So there are some uh, dependencies which you need to import inside your Python script. Now in order to convert this into an executable file, you might already uh, know the answer how to convert it. You just need to give this command pyinstaller space hyphen hyphen one file and the name of your script which is going to uh, create an executable file using this uh, Python script. And once again when I go inside this uh, dist folder you can see this main underscore window.exe file is created and when I double click on this window then there is a terminal which is opened first and then after a few seconds your real application will start.
So now the real application which is this Kinter window is started now. So you can see a little problem here which is this terminal window always opens before opening your real application which is this window. So how uh, can I uh, just remove this terminal and I just want to open this registration form without this terminal. So there is one more flag which you need to add in order to achieve this. So I'm going to just uh, close uh, these two uh, windows and terminal and for now let me just uh, remove all these uh, directories so I'll delete and let me just clear the terminal and in addition to your uh, hyphen hyphen one file uh, flag what you need to do is you just need to give one more flag which is hyphen w okay so pi installer hyphen hyphen one file space hyphen w and then your script name and then I'm going to just uh, press enter which is once again going to create these directories. So once this command is finished I'm going to go once again to the dist folder and run my main underscore windows.exe file and this time no terminal will open only your application window will open without opening any console terminal. So you can see only my real application is opening without opening any extra console terminal. So minus W is for uh, opening your real application without any console output. Now there is one more thing which I want to show you here is for example your uh, project contains uh, some extra dependencies on uh, some extra uh, things which are uh, related to for example your chrome extensions or any other uh, thing what you can do is you can use a utility called nsis which is a uh, open source utility so you can just go to uh, this website which is nsis.sourceforge.io i'm going to give you uh, the link in the description and when you reach to this page you can see the download uh, a button on the right hand side so I'm going to click this uh, download button which is going to open this page and then I'm going to just uh, click on the download link here and after a few seconds this uh, executable file for NSIS uh, utility will be downloaded on my system you can see it's about 1.4 megabyte so it's not a big file so you can directly uh, install it and then uh, run this executable file and uh, once you run it let me just minimize the browser and also let me just minimize these windows and uh, this is the installer window so I'm going to just click next I agree and then uh, leave everything as default next and this will be the location click install and once this uh, NSIS uh, utility is installed you can just uh, leave this checkbox checked which says run NSIS which is going to run your NSIS application so this is the NSIS menu. What you need to do is you just need to click on this uh, link which is installer based on zip file. So just click on this link installer based on zip file and provide the path for your directory. So what you can do here is once you have created your exe file so there is this exe file you can name uh, this uh, folder anything for example i will just leave it as a dist folder and then you just need to convert it into a zip file so let me convert it to a zip file so i'm going to just say add to archive and then i'm going to create a zip file and then i'm going to just say okay which is going to create this zip file and inside this zip file you already know my exe file is there so once you have created your zip file just copy the path of this uh, directory and go to this window which is opened using nsis and then just give the path of your zip file so this is the zip file i'm going to just give the path of this zip file and then I'm going to just click on this generate button which is going to generate you can see this dist.exe file okay so once this dist.exe file is 
created using your zip file you can test this using this test button so just click on test and it's going to open this kind of installation windows so this uh, dist.exe file you can uh, just uh, give to your clients or your colleagues in order to install this exe file on their operating system obviously it should be a windows operating system so i'm going to just double click on this uh, exe file and it will work like a normal installer now one thing to note about pi installer utility is if you want to create a windows exe file you need to run pi installer on your windows operating system so if you want to create a linux binary using your windows uh, operating system pi installer it will not work okay so if you want to create a executable file use windows operating system with pi installer if you want to create a linux binary then uh, just run that python script with pi installer using that operating system so that's it for this video this is how you can create a standalone executable file using your python script I hope you have enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.